we're going to find the area of the shaded region. Okay, so I have this rectangle, right? And a circle here that's cut out. So all this is missing. That's area. If I cut it out, then don't I have to take it away? I have to subtract it, right? So it's as if I have this whole rectangle. It was whole before the circle was cut out, right? Find the area of the whole thing. Then you're going to subtract the area of the circle, and that's going to become what you have left, the area of the shaded. Okay? So like imagine if this uh, rectangle was like a piece of paper and you cut out a circle, right? We have to figure out, well, what's that area of that circle that you cut out to see, you know, what you're taking away. Okay, so find the area of rectangle, find the area of the circle, subtract it, and you'll get the area of the shaded region. So the area of the rectangle. This rectangle. The area is... Base times height or length times width, length times the width, that's 8 times 7, which is 56 centimeters squared, right? Centimeters squared is the area of this rectangle. That's that. And then uh, the area of the circle, pi r squared. Pi is 3.14. The radius is 2, right? 2 squared. Okay, I'm going to take care of this first, right? Area equals... 3.14, I'm going to leave that, solve that out, that's 4. Okay, so 3.14 times the 4, let's do that over here. 3.14 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5, this is 12. I have two numbers behind the decimal point, 1, 2, so I need to place two numbers behind the decimal point in my answer. Area equals 12.56 centimeters squared. Okay, now I have the area of the whole thing and then the area of the circle. So I need to take away the circle, right, from the uh, rectangle. So it's going to be 56 minus... 12.56. So I need to do that. 56 minus, and remember when you subtract decimals, you have to line them up. Where is the decimal in this number? It's, if you don't see it, it's always at the end, right there. Minus 12 point, make sure only when you subtract, add or subtract, the decimals have to line up. 5, 6. Now, I'm missing numbers here. If I'm missing numbers here, it's at the end of a uh, number behind the decimal point. I can add zeros like that. So, when I subtract, this is going to borrow. This becomes the 10. This becomes 9. Borrow, 5. Is that big enough? Yes. Okay, so... 10 minus the 6 is 4. 9 minus 5 is 4. Point. 5 minus 2 is 3. 5 minus 1 is 4. So it's 43.44. So this is 43.44. Centimeters squared is my answer. Again, just found the area of the rectangle, then found the area of the circle. 
I subtract it. I have to take the circle away, so I have to subtract it. Okay, and then make sure your decimals line up when you subtract, and then you get this as your answer. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com.